morning in our sound mind. Yes? Amen. And we've got to give God thanks for that this morning. I just want to greet each and every, each and every one of you in the mighty name of Jesus. All those who are here in the sanctuary, I welcome you this morning. All those who are on digital land, Facebook or on YouTube later, I welcome you and I greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. It's amazing what praises can do. Amen. We can get through so many things when we praise our way through. Hallelujah. You know, we had a, um, a speaker was here a couple of weeks ago on Wednesday. And one of the things she would sat in with me, within me was she said to me, Sister, continue to praise your way through your situation. And, you know, that sort of just resonated in me that whatever, no matter what, I'm going to praise my way through all my situations. Because there's more than one. Okay, so it's amazing what praises can do. So I'm going to invite you to stand here at home to rock, to sing, and we're going to lift our voices this morning to sing, it's amazing what praises can do. Amen, amen, amen. <clears throat> it's amazing what praises
I'm going to ask you to reach, reach for your swords. And our scripture reading this morning will be taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew 25, reading from verses 14 to 30. And Sister Daphne will be coming to read for us this morning. St. Matthew chapter 25, reading from 14 through to 30. into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two he also gained another two. But he that received one went and dug in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoned with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not stored. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, thou hast said, that is mine. Thy Lord, his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not, and gathered where I have not sowed. Thou, thou oughtest there before thou put thy money to the exchanges, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and gave it unto him which had ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he that have abundance, but from him that hath not shall be taken away, even thou which he hath. Thirtieth and last. And cast he the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall he weeping and gnashing of teeth. We say Amen to God's word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise God for his word. Mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah. It's a great name, amen. 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 It's a name above every other name. Hallelujah. Amen. Jehovah is your name. Amen. Jehovah is your name. 
know you've looked at the wrong papers. So just look at the proper thing now. Just, I just say, neighbor, I'm glad to see you. Neighbor, I'm glad to see you. Well, welcome those of you who have joined us this morning from the um, social media, whether you're joining on Twitter, YouTube, or um, Facebook, we just want to say it's good to have you joining us this morning. If you're not joining live, you're checking in another day or so, we still want to welcome you. We are hailing from the city of Gloucester, which is the southwest, in, in the southwest of England. We're just across from Chatham. We're in the bright, sunny city of Gloucester. God bless you. Our postcode is GL2. Thank you. Just testing you. GL1 5AH. We're at 89 Shroud Road. So whenever you come to the city of Gloucester, you want to be in church, please join us. There are lots of churches around. Check out Facebook. Make sure you come to a place of worship as well. Amen. We're going to look at the, the book of Acts chapter chapter 1. Praise the Lord. Verse 11. I want to speak this morning about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Praise God. I thought I saved my notes on my flash drive. Only to come here and realize I never, I never saved on the computer. So it's not here. But I want to share with you this morning. I'm speaking to believers. This day is friends and family day. And uh, it's important that we reinforce the promise that God has given to us. That Christ will return again. Amen? Amen. Amen. We don't hear it preached because people have, tend to have a lot, a lot of people tend to have itching ears. They want to hear how blessed they are. And we want to hear prophetic words concerning us. But the most the important event that will take place, will unfold itself, is the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you and I were going on a holiday, we're going to a place that we have never been before. We'd be excited. You would pack your bags. Mm -hmm. My daughter usually packed her suitcase two weeks before and come and put it in the hallway. We have a big hallway. And she would leave her suitcases there for ready. She's excited she's going on holiday. And when I used to be nothing and I'm going away, she would come up two weeks before. She said, Dad, it's time to pack your stuff. I don't want to see you calling me or anything on the day before or the, the whatever to say, help you pack. No, you need to pack now. And it was a good warning because she wants you to be prepared. How much should we be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ? Praise be to God. We check our visa and our Esther when we're going somewhere. Amen. We get our vaccine and we're going to some countries. Praise God. I'm not talking about Corona, so please don't look at me as if I'm talking about Corona. No, but we'll get our vaccine because some countries you can't go unless you have their, the vaccine to go there, like malaria and all them shots. Yeah. It's important. Now, verse 10 of Acts chapter 1, the disciples were witnessing something momentous. They have, they have had Jesus for three and a half years. All of a sudden, near to the end of the three and a half years, Jesus began to tell them that he's going to Jerusalem. He's going to be crucified. He's going to be buried and he'll be raised three days. Peter was very anxious. They said, Lord, even Thomas said, Lord, where are you going? Can we come? Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Now he died. They were shut up for how many days in the 
in there, not a part of it, but the upper room. They were praying. And all of a sudden, Mary came and told them that she saw Jesus. Hallelujah, and he's risen. They were excited. Thomas was so excited. He said, I have to see his hands. I have to push my finger in his side and all of that. Yet Jesus turned up and said, Thomas, he said, my Lord and my God. It was a joy to see Jesus come back. Forty days after his resurrection, they were out fishing. Peter said, I'm going fishing. The other said, I'm coming with you. And all of a sudden, they turned up. And all night they thought they caught nothing. And Jesus turned up and said, children, have you any meat? Praise God, I'm quoting John 20 here. He said, they said, no. He said, come and die. What a wonderful person. And all of a sudden, he took them on the Mount of Olives. And he was talking with them. And as he was talking with them, while they look, step, they, verse, go back to verse 9, from please, Brother Jim. Hallelujah. When he had spoken the things that comfort their heart, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received them out of their sight. What a disappointment. Praise be to God. The Lord Jesus who fed them, who could send you down to a river to get your gold out of your fish's mouth. Amen. All of a sudden, he's gone. They're talking. He's talking to them. And while he was spoken, glory to God, they look, they're looking on him. They're looking. They're looking really good. We're so glad to see you. Jesus, we're so glad he was taken up. A cloud received them. Praise God out of their sight. They were looking. They watched him as he go. Praise God. Cloud is not very low. Amen. Unless it's missed. Praise God. But they watched until they watched and watched. And they were watching. Where were you going? Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the cloud received them out of their sight. But praise God. They did not just, it did not just end there. Verse 10 tells us something. While they looked, glory to God, two men, hallelujah, towards heaven, as he went up, two men stood by them in white apparel. Praise be to God. This is what the men said. You men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as we have seen him go into heaven. This was important to the disciples because they saw Jesus going. He told them he would come again. But now the angel said, you men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is so taken up from you, glory to God, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go. In other words, he went up in the cloud. He will return in clouds. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. To give you an understanding of what the clouds also mean. Praise God. It's not only the cloud, the, the, what do you call it? Um, cloud. You know cloud? Yes. Praise God. Cloud. Praise God. It's not just that cloud. Believers, God has given us a cloud of witnesses. In Acts, in Hebrews chapter 11. We're, we're going to look at verse 12. But in Hebrews 11, the disciple, the God showed us the men and the women who died believed in God. They believed he was coming. They were sure of his coming. Praise God. They told us of Noah, of, of, of Samson, of Jephthah, of Barak, of Samuel. They all believed. The Bible said some of them did not receive the promise. Glory to God. In other words, they lived before Jesus came. And then in chapter 12 of oh, glory to God of Hebrews, I wonder if you're following me. The apostle said, glory to God. Hallelujah. At Hebrews 11, Hebrews 12 verse 1. Is that what I said? Yeah. Hebrews 12 verse 1. Praise God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Wherefore see, we are compassed. We are serpent surrounded. About the soul, great a cloud of witnesses. Praise God. These are witnesses who believe. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience 
the race that is set before us. Glory to God. We are in a race. We are in a race. Praise God. Oh, look it out to Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. Who for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. Despising the shame. And is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Notice the scripture said. Consider him who endured such contradiction of sinners against himself. Lest you be weary. And faint in your minds as you're waiting for the coming of the Lord. Believers, it's important that we keep in mind the coming of the Lord. Amen. In other words, it's a goal that you set your faith, your eyes towards. He's coming again. Look at your neighbor and say, Jesus is coming again. You know, when the believers in the early church met each other, they didn't greet and say, Hello, Susan. No, they said, Maranatha. Before they ever said anything, Barbara, they said, Maranatha, Jesus Christ is coming again. Never greet him. Amen. Glory to God. Every time you see a believer, Jesus is coming again. When Jesus spoke to the disciples or to the church in his last words, he said, John said, even so, come Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Revelation chapter 1. Praise God. Hallelujah. I think verse 7. Revelation chapter 1. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, Behold, he cometh with clouds. He was taken up in clouds. He said, Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Believers, every eye shall see him. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. They also which pierced him. All kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so. Amen. 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 Believers, glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you following me? It's important. We are living in a time when people are not, even if they believe that Jesus is coming, they're not really being prepared. They are not preparing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The gospel is about the coming of Jesus. The gospel is about the coming of Jesus. He lived. He died. But he's coming again. Praise be to God. The first John chapter 3. Praise the Lord. First John chapter 3. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said what manner of love. The Father has bestowed upon us. Hallelujah, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth not us, because it knew him not. And it's gone, brothers and Now are we the sons of God. It does not yet appear what we shall be like. But we know that when he shall return, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Believers, we are going to see Jesus. We are going to see Jesus. Hallelujah, we are going to see Jesus. Glory to God. I know none of the songs we have to today, sister, sister what, tell us anything about the coming of the Lord. Oh my God, not one of them. But the whole songs in the book. Hallelujah. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. Hallelujah. And the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. I wish it might have somebody to help now. When his chosen ones shall gather over on the other shore. But the road is called up yonder. Praise God. And there's another song that says, Oh my Lord, prepare my soul for that great day. Oh, wash me in thy precious blood and take my sins away. Daddy, I want you to know that people were always preparing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That another song said, When the redeemed are gathering in, wash white as snow and free from all sins. How we'll shout and how we'll sing when the redeemed are gathering in. 
Annie Crosby, that woman that wrote so many of the songs, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine, Oh Mine, Oh what a foretaste of glory divine. She wrote, Someday the silver cart will, will, uh, will fall. Amen. Then I shall see him face to face in one of the greatest of Dwight Moody crusade in, in New York. When the people were getting healed, she was blind from she was four days old. If you give me that song, Brother Jim, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. She was blessed assurance. She was blind from she was four days old. The doctor administered the wrong drops in her eyes. She was blind. She wrote many songs. Praise God. But in one of the songs she wrote, in that same song, Blessed Assurance, she said, perfect submission, perfect delight beyond. Visions of rapture burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above. Echoes of mercies, whispers of love. She was in one of the greatest of Dwight Moody crusade. People were getting healed in New York. And Dwight Moody called her, hallelujah. She was always a psalmist. He said, Patty, what is your greatest uh, request tonight? While people are getting healed, she said that I may remain blind. That the first person I will ever see with my sight it will be Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Believers, people are excited about the coming. They may die, but they died with the promise. Come on, church. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above, echoes of mercies, whispers of love. Believers, when you have this in your heart, when you have the second coming in your mind, you don't keep a malice. Hallelujah. If your brother offends you, you're going to make it right because you're getting ready. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Your eyes are on the prize. That song, How Great Thou Art. Every time I hear it. I was in Bristol at a funeral service on a Thursday. Praise be to God. And I standing there on the platform when the, the, the grandchildren, this man died. 2012, his wife died. I mean, I think it was 68 at the time. Grandchildren and great grandchildren. Glory to God. 68 years. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Willis was sitting by me and he said, Master Hodge, we wasted our time. We only have two or three. <laughs> praise be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. The, the 2022, praise God, that the father died. And it rose from 60 something or 72. It rose right up to 100 and something. When they called them, them to the platform, glory to God. Hallelujah, tell you to sing. The, the stage could not hold them. And they sung the song, How Great Thou Art. But that song, the part that touched me, two verses that I always sing when I'm singing that song, is a verse that I, I, I was singing when I got saved. When I think that Christ, God, His Son, not spirit, sent Him to die. I scarce can take it in upon the cross. My burden, he gladly bear, he bled and died to take away my sins. Amen. Hallelujah. But the, the last verse, when Christ shall come, with shouts of acclamation to take me home, praise God, what joy shall fill my heart. Hallelujah. Sister, what can you imagine the day when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound from China, from Africa, from Indonesia, from Japan, from the Caribbean, from Latin America, glory to God, North America, from Canada, from China, from oh, glory to God, even in Abu Dhabi, Christians will be coming. Oh, praise God. To be the Lord, the summons that we shall have, Brother Jim, a grand time. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Up in heaven. Hallelujah. We shall have a grand time. Up in heaven, have a grand time. Walking with the angels. Oh, glory to God. Jesus Christ is coming again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
There are people who don't believe it. That it's coming again. There are people who don't believe that it's coming again. But Brother Jim, uh, Rahim, rather, in, in 2 Peter chapter 3, praise be to God. Thank you, Lord. There are people who don't believe it. Believers, Mama, we must be ready. We must be ready. Stay ready. Don't let anybody hold you back. The someone said, though none goes with me, but still I follow. Though none goes with me, but still I follow. Glory to God. Believers, sometimes we're tired. But I hear the song and say, I'm, I'm tired. I'm so weary. But I must go along to the Lord. Somebody help me out here. Comes and calls me. Will be away? When the morning is bright and the love is the light. Peter said, someone will say in the last days, glory to God. They're asking, where is the promise of his coming? Thank you, Jesus. For since the fathers fell asleep, they are saying, things continue the same way as they were from the beginning of creation. Peter said, for this, they are willingly, they are ignorant of. That the, by the word of God, the heavens were of home. In other words, God spoke the word, the world into being. And when God said, that I'm coming, Jesus said, I'm coming back again. You cannot change. Amen. He said, by the word of God, the heavens were of old. And the earth standing out of the water. Hallelujah. And in the water. What a powerful word. Praise God. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Glory to God. But the heavens, the heavens and the earth, which are now. That's why I love the Bible. That's why I love the Bible. Some study science, some study sociology, some study biology, some study study songs. Arithmetic. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh my sins. Praise God. That same thing. Rahim, which one of them is right? Math, maths, right? Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Praise God. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want this. I want this. Amen. Praise God. It's a book that will guide you. It's a navigation. Praise God. It won't lead you astray. Praise God. Hallelujah. When you're down, as I said last week, it will say, weep him. Oh, glory to God. George may endure, but for a night. But joy is coming in the morning. Peter said, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved on the fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Run with me, please. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. And a thousand years as one day. Amen. But the Lord is not slack. Amen. The Lord is not slack. Amen. Concerning his promise. What is a promise? Hallelujah. It's in John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, Sean, glory to God. Hallelujah! Amen. There are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told him, I go to prepare a place for you. That where I am. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Those of you that are married and have been married, you have houses and you have this and you have that. Remember, Jesus is coming. It's good to have that. It's good to have death left. Oh, praise God. I'll say the other word for dead left. Inheritance. Inheritance. Is it's that the word? Praise God. It's, it's dead. Go right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's good to have inheritance, not dead left. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God to leave behind. But the greatest thing, praise God. I don't want when I'm gone anybody to say that he was there. He, he, could, he could this and he could that. I want somebody to know the life I lived. It was. I don't want 
want when I'm gone anybody short my funeral service. I want the sermon to be preached about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Don't worry about what I've done and what I didn't do. I want the second coming of Jesus Christ. I want how to call. I want how to call. Because I live with promise. I live with it's shut up in my heart. Glory to God. It's in my soul. There's a song. None of you would remember it. In my heart, there rings a melody. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm the only person here. But those of you who don't know it, that's your problem. You can listen to your modern songs. Praise God. There's a melody of praise. There's a melody. Hallelujah. That Christ is coming. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men come slack, but his long suffering to us more, not willing that anyone should perish. Our son is wondering, how the Lord coming? Go back to verse 1 for me again, please, Brother Jim. I might need it. Praise God. Right in, brother. Glory to God. Paul and Peter wrote the second picture, beloved. I now write unto you with both, which I stir up your pure minds. I want to stir up by way of repentance. Amen. Guys, and those of you that are young, listen to me, kids. Listen to me, children. Listen to me. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Jesus is coming again. He's coming again. Glory to God. I want you to know, bear in mind, one fine day, one glorious day, praise God. It may be morning, noon or night, because while it's morning here, it will be night somewhere. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today we are on Sunday morning in California. They're still on Saturday. Praise God. In Australia, I don't even know where they are. Praise God. In New Zealand, I don't know where they are. Praise God. In Japan, Singapore, they are far away from us. My God. But when Jesus comes, praise God. One fine day. Hallelujah. Come on. One fine, fine day. We'll be, the Bible said two will be sleeping in their bed. Hugging up. Hallelujah. Tight. Jesus comes. The one will be taken on the other left. What a day of rejoicing it will be. One morning when you turn on the TV. Praise God. One morning you will hear the every, you, every, you see this every day this week it's a queen. Every hour it's a queen. But on that day, praise God, the only thing that will be on TV, the reporters will be going to the cemetery to show that something happened. Something cataclysmic happened. Praise God. They'll be going on the street and people will be weeping. They'll be waiting. Listen to me. Listen to me. That because somebody is missing. Somebody is missing. Glory to God. Death um, affect every home. But on this bright morning, I was going to say Sunday morning, every family on earth will be missing somebody. Hallelujah. The psalmist wrote, praise God. You don't have them sounding. They'll be singing. They'll be shouting. They'll be sorrow. They'll be pain. They'll be weeping and wailing when our Lord shall come again. But from everywhere, people will be coming. They'll be meeting together. The Bible said, He will turn to us one pure language. At the time of Babel, everybody spoke one language. And because of their rebellion against God, God turned their, their, turn their, their one language into many languages so they could not understand each other. But on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came down and baptized the believers. Glory to God in a language. The church had interpretation. And that Bible said it will turn to us like in a pure language. That's a scripture in the Bible. It said a pure language. I can't remember where it is. He said that a pure language. Glory to God. You just type pure language in the Bible and you will find it. He will give us a pure language. So there will be no Chinese in glory. There will be no Arabic. 
in glory. Amen. There'll be no um, Singaporeish. There'll, no, there'll be no Papua. <laughs> glory to God. I'm not saying you won't understand it. Praise God. Hallelujah. But in the, you follow me? Zephaniah 3 verse 9. Thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. What did she say again? Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 9. Help me out here for it, please. Glory to God. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. You won't be an interpreter. Will be bursting through the heaven. Glory to God. Every cemetery will not be shattered. Every cemetery. I'm somebody taking it lightly what I'm saying this morning. Every cemetery will be shattered. Amen. You're an unsaved. You're an unsaved man. Buried on top of your saved woman. When Jesus comes, he will just throw you up. Yo! Move yourself. Praise God, hallelujah. Glory to God. The, 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 the media, can you imagine when we're gone? Lord, the media. Oh, everybody waiting. In Egypt, there was boiling in every home. Oh my God, in every home, they were weeping. Waiting. Some of them waiting because they heard the word and they didn't take no. Sister, what? You want to remember this song? There was a song they used to sing. Me glad, me no more skipper. Me would I tell you the reason why. You see me, Jesus, should have been come down. Me would have been ready, ready to die. Poor Jenny, don't understand what my word I say. Glory to God. Sister Daphne. Praise God. <laughs> The song said, I'm glad I'm not a malice keeper. Amen. I want to tell you the reason why. Should my Jesus come down? I tell you, that's the reason why. Amen. That I would not be a backslider. I would tell you the reason why. And all of us will be singing that song. Praise God. It will, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll be singing it. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand with me, please. My hope is built running on nothing less than Jesus' blood. It's righteousness. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and I dare not trust that sweetest frame, but only lean on Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Try it one more time. Yes. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood. Dear not trust that sweetest frame, but only trust in Jesus' name. Second verse, please. Hallelujah. When darkness seems to hide its face, I rest on his unchanging grace. Of the 
the song. Praise God. I think this cornerstone one you got. Hallelujah. I want the, true, the proper one. Praise God. His hope is covenant. That is the support scheme. Support scheme. That the women flow. Hallelujah. And all around. All around. My soul is He
shall reign. Be ready. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Praise God. Jesus is coming again. Hallelujah. His hold is come. The land is blood. So pours me the wedding flower when every earthly prop is waiting, even his home my hope and stay on Christ the Son. Just inside the gate, 
And somebody had called just inside the gate. Somebody said they had just inside the gate. And somebody had called just inside the eastern gate. Where we'll be forevermore. Whatever difference we have now, it will be put aside. We'll reach home. Home for him. Praise God. Father, we want to thank you this morning. That the devil is a loser. He's a liar and he's a loser. I praise you this moment for the words you have given to us. And Lord, there is nothing that happens without your knowledge. I praise you, oh God Almighty. This moment that you have given us the opportunity to come. And we are here this morning and you're reminding us that Christ is coming again. Lord, remind those that are listening, whether it's on Twitter, YouTube, glory to God, Facebook, Lord God, our Instagram, remind each and every single one of us today that you're coming again. Lord, no matter where we are, individually, collectively. Lord, remind us, praise God, that Lord, our eyes will be on the prize. We're looking to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Over the joy that was set before him. Set aside the weight. Glory to God, because he was going to glory. Who's going to the cross. Father, strengthen each and every one of us this morning. Lift up our hands. Lift up our hands that are the hands that are hand down. Strengthen the fever knees. That the injunction of your word in Luke 21, 36, where you said, Watch ye therefore and pray always. That we may be accounted worthy for the coming of the Lord. We give you praise and glory. We give you honor in this moment. Bless our hearts. Give us, God Almighty, the desire to keep our eyes on the prize. We thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name. Jesus, I'm sorry. 
uh, back, back in the sanctuary now. So Sunday school will be commencing at 10 o'clock. And then our second morning worship will start at 11. Amen. So may God bless you and may God keep you. May God cause his face to shine upon us. And may he give us peace, both now and forevermore. Amen. Let the people say, Amen. Amen. Amen.